Okay, hi everyone. Here's the color palette. I'm using a black background paint. That's what this is. And the colors are as follows. I've got, t I've got two TLPs and three color arts. Uh, TLPs, Harvest Gold, Color Arts, Pink Azalea, Color Arts, Guatemalan Green, Color Arts, Mango Mamba, and TLPs, Golden Peach, and Black Cell Activator. So, yeah, we're going black. I've been doing some light backgrounds lately, and I really, really feel like doing a black background. See how these pigments look. I already kind of spun this, but I am going to give this, a, I want this to be pre-spun, okay? So I want to make sure that the right amount of paint is on this tile because I'm not going to do a whole lot of spinning. Okay, that should be good. All right, let's see how these colors do on black. Woohoo! Now, I already know this color looks amazing on black. This is TLP's golden, uh, Harvest Gold, I mean. And I want to, I'm going to do thicker lines than I have been doing, um, just for fun. I was doing really thin lines and to mix the colors to get multiple color cells. But today, I think I'm going to go a little bit heavier with my lines. Let's see what effect that has. So, leaving our circle. Big scoops. I got these cute spoon shovels. They're like little mini shovels from Color Art when I made my new order of pigments. And I'm trying these out for the first time. Some of these pigments, this one in particular, haven't tried this one out yet. This one also is Guatemalan Green. Super bright. Mango Mamba. This is yellow. It's a very deep, rich pigment. And I may go over the top of this with gold again. Because I just love gold on black. And this is amazing on black too. This is the golden peach. So this shifts from pink to gold. And looks amazing. On black. black, I like to pick either bright or light colors. So I've got a mixture, like this is a light color, it looks great on black. Not want any holes. Alright, let's go over it one more time with gold. Perfect. Got my black cell activator all mixed up. I'm running out of my Australian Floetrol and I ordered some and it's not going to be here for two weeks. Oh no! <laughs> I'm having slight panic attacks about it. I'm like, no! Something about, uh, June, what is it? It's June now, July 15th. And then today's the 20th. Oh no. All right. So there we go.
happening? What's happening here? Hmm. Those aren't coming out. Wake up, baby. You might have put a little too much on that spot. I think I made my cell activator a bit thick. It's taking its sweet time coming out. I probably was going easy on the Australian Floetrol because I'm worried about running out. Let's see, I can't have that. See, that one worked. Okay, so this isn't coming out. So I'm gonna redo this section. I'm just gonna take all the colors that I used. Okay, because I really don't wanna redo this whole thing. And just <laughs> try to do it <laughs> without a big glob like <laughs> It's very difficult when you have such a small area. Really liking this yellow jumping out. Oh my gosh. There's no getting away from it. <laughs> Let's redo that spot. Let's make it happen. That's better. Now I got a corner over here I don't like. Gonna finish that. good now. Got a little area right here. Completely clean your tool, okay? Because that can mess it up too. Okay, 
let's do some swirls. We, this is where we really need to bring this together. So, let me show you guys. It's so hard to see with the black. Not too bad now it looks a heck of a lot better let me pick it up you guys can see these little buggers are so slippery come here there we go all right look at that hold on get in the right spot here it is I got a lot of stuff in this table right now <laughs> There it is, oh my God, it's so cute. It's very bright and let's look at the cell formations. And of course this is before, we want them to stay put. And I have had very good luck with this black pillow paint in the past. So I'm pretty confident that it will stay put. There's a little spot if you're being really picky right there, but in the grand scheme of things, I think it looks pretty good. Yay, really colorful. I think I'm going to do one more and I'm going to change the colors and still do black background. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to do another black background and completely different colors. Um, we've got some beautiful ones. I think this is going to look really nice. Okay, so this, because it's on black, you wanted to go with light colors. And this is a, this is called pixie dust. So this is a really translucent, translucent yellow. Okay, I've used it before. It has hella sparkle on black and amazing. This is TLP's um, Harvest Gold, which I'm kind of running out of. I'm low. I might have another one over there. And then this one, how gorgeous is this? Blushing Pumpkin. Okay, I just got this. So excited about this one. And then this is Isadora, another new one to me, another gorgeous yellow, um, dying to see what that looks like on black. So let me get this flooded. Okay, I know I just told you guys all the colors, but because of my TLP Harvest Gold being so low, 
I'm introducing this rose gold that I have. This is just Craftsmart cheap paint um, it was, uh, that you get on the, in the little baby bottles. So I make it the same exact way as I make everything else, just add it to the base three with the squirt of Josanya. All right, I'm starting with the lemon uh, sorbet. Is that what this is? I'm sorry, pixie dust. the first layer heavy okay that's what I've been doing lately and that way the little background does a peek through so I want good color satura saturation My negative space is in the middle, and I want there to be color everywhere else. And I, this is the Harvest Gold. I'm only gonna, actually, now that I think of it, because I have so little, I'm gonna put this on top, the rest. There's a little bit there, but let's go with this, this blushing pumpkin. Oh my God, on black. Oh my God, yes. I think I might go a little nuts with this color because it's just gorgeous. It's just like a shade of lip color I would love to wear. <laughs> yeah, love, love this shade, oh my God. Okay. It's Adora. Boom. Look at that yellow pop with that pink. These two pink colors look great together. This is the TLP's Golden Peach. Pink and yellow is my jam, y'all. <laughs> Pink and yellow is my jam. Okay, not done. Harvest Gold. I'm gonna scrape the bottom of the barrel. I mean, I have more, I just don't feel like going up and making it. But this will be enough. This stuff really pops on black. It can take over, so, but let it take over. Bring it on. I'm gonna put a little bit, since this is my favorite color, the star of the show, I'm gonna just do a little more. Super pink, oh my God, pink and black. Okay, let's do some swiping. Black cell activator, boom. You guys, I am so, like, I don't know what it is. No, no matter how long I do the swipes, I still mess up, like, the exact place to put the blade or whatever you want to call the edge, okay? Because if you touch the middle, the background paint, it drags it in and it makes mud. So... You really need to get it exactly on the colors only and swipe it gently across. It just, you've gotta find, there's, a, there's such thing as going too light, but it's much easier to actually go um, to 
press it too much, too much pressure. So it's very easy to go too much pressure. So and so I that's why you guys see me kind of jiggling around and waiting. It's like you know, geez, put it down, Christine. But it's because of that. Okay, I'm making sure that I'm not going to hit that background paint and drag it over because that's that's a mistake. You don't want that to happen. Okay, here we go. I actually was painting last night and I can't tell you how many times I did it. I did it like four times and I've been doing this a while. I should know better by now, but it kind of smacked me in the face. It was like, oh wow, that hasn't happened in a while. And I was like, okay, I need to mention this to, to you guys. I may seem hesitant and that's why I'm just being careful. Okay, so for this area, hmm, do I want to, I don't know if I want to do that. So I'm going to, I'd rather do two on this edge of the top than do one that's too big. So let's do that. Um, yeah. heavy and the amount of cell activator on your swiping tool matters too it can be too heavy that's an example of too heavy all these little factors you know I'm wondering it's like a little Y going on there See, and I still have right there. It's because I work on round surfaces. You'd think I'd have it figured out by now, but nope. It's like every time I'm doing it, it's brand new. <laughs> Let's see how that works. Okay, I'm loving the colors. Loving the colors. Making sure all the cells are coming out. I made the cell activator a little bit. Um, more paint to flow draw ratio, so the cells take their sweet time coming out. And that's okay. That's looking pretty good. Bring you guys in a little closer. All right, here we go.
All right, that is done. Yes, now I know it's hard for you guys to see the colors on black, it, but trust me, this is going to look amazing if it dries right. A little fractal right there, and I don't like fractals. Um, they're hard to describe, but I'm just gonna not, I'm gonna put a squish right through it. Yep, it's the only one in the whole thing. I don't know where that came from. Sometimes the paint can react. So let's get this baby picked up. Nice and easy. Here we go. Bring you guys over to the drying table so you can see it a little better. Here we go today at Sifferts. Lovely, lovely. I love them both. Oh my God. So one is super bright and colorful and we're going to have to do another competition. Which one is your favorite? But you got to wait until they're done before you can pick. But anyway, um, this is like the pink and yellows and golds. And let's go in close. Look at the cells formations. So pretty good pretty pretty good cell formations sorry for all the glare black is just hard to photograph and this is just oh my god it's gonna look so good when it's dry okay so I have been enjoying showing you guys when it's wet and then showing you when it's dry before the resin because some people don't like the resin and these things can look amazing without resin okay so I am going to show you dry before resin and then of course the finish of resin so oh my god I'm really happy with this today's efforts thank you for joining me yay all right stay tuned for the the finale the the big reveal <laughs> okay Hi everyone. Okay, so I've had a couple of requests um, asking to see how I put the butterflies on the tiles. Um, obviously this is before the resin. Um, and, you know, it's, it's not a big deal. I mean, making the decision is kind of hard. <laughs> So I, you know, I get, I have all of these butterflies. Okay. I don't even know how many there are. It's like 300 or something. So, you know, uh, there's so many. And then I have less of the dragonflies, um, but which like, here's some of the butterflies. And I've got the link in the description box. Um, and you know, I try to keep them together, the little packages. Um, because they're kind of like similar in color. Uh, like there's one package with a lot of like pinks and blues and there's one package with like a lot of greens. Uh, and so I'm generally looking for um, a butterfly or dragonfly within the similar colors. Okay, so I've picked, I've managed to whittle down to four options for each tile. And here is the now dry um okay so there's a lot of gold in this one but i want to bring out the eye to pink and uh, they tend to stick so i just use one butterfly to pick the other one up scoop it up okay so like kind of here is one which i am leaning on that one is my favorite here's another for that one Okay, and you know, it can be kind of excruciating, honestly. This, this can be a very hard part. That one's a little bit too white. That one's out, okay. And then this is a dragonfly, it's kind of fun. Sorry for the mowing uh, noise outside. My husband's mowing the lawn, okay. So I definitely like I think I like this one or this one. Um, okay, yeah, another big point is 
look at all that plastic, right? You don't want that. So before you peel the back off, and I'm not gonna show you how to do it. Everybody knows how to cut something out with scissors. You just follow the, and just cut it off, okay? Just carefully take a pair of scissors, do it in front of the TV. Now there's little antennas, so you gotta cut around that. It's, you know, tedious. I don't know if you guys can see the little antennas. I don't chop them off. Uh, I try to keep them on there. And, but the plastic really shows under resin. So cut it, that edge right there, cut it out, and then it won't show, obviously. That's the only part that's, you know, giving any resistance there. Um, so for this one, let me turn it around and see. I think, I'm, I, think I like this one. I'm gonna go with this one on this tile, okay? And first, I'm gonna trim it. And then I stick it on there. Once I stick it on there after I trim it, that's it. Okay, now this tile, oh my gosh, right? So gorgeous. I am leaning on this one. I wanna bring out the green in this tile. And at first I was putting pink ones on and then I was like, you know, I hardly ever use my green butterflies. Uh, here's a yellow. You know, that doesn't bring the green out. So that one's out. Take that off. Here's a great big green one. And I feel like that's too big because this tile is, yeah, this butterfly might look good on a bigger tile. So that one's out. Now, this butterfly is super awesome. And it's, it's pretty cool. I'm not saying it's gonna go exactly in that spot. I'm just looking at it for color. Let's see, like that yeah, maybe. Um, and I've used this butterfly before and really liked it. Oops. But this butterfly really goes great. It just, to me, it belongs there. And that's, that's what you're looking for. You're looking for that looks like it belongs there to me. And it's just a matter of personal preference. So I am going to go with these two. Yep. That's what it's going to do. And um, I'm going to get those trimmed and stuck on there and do some resin. And then I'll bring you guys back for the final look. Okay. Oh my God, you guys, it's all done, all resin finish. And I've got them set up in front of my house plants because I love my house plants. But I'm gonna give you guys a close up. I've got my flash on. So this one, a lot of gold. And I love it. Love, love, love it. The pink is very subtle but it's in there and the yellow you can see kind of really goes in with that gold. And then that butterfly, I think it's perfect for it. And then this pretty one with more colors in that green, I love this one too, oh my gosh. But see what I mean about that gold taking over? Um, so I just piled it on and, you know, but this one's got a lot of beautiful colors. And then that butterfly is perfect. Love that little swoop right there. It's really cool looking. Let me know what you guys think. If you have a favorite, they, they didn't look good side by side, don't they? <laughs> So these are for sale. If anybody's interested, contact me. And um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you subscribe, click the bell, and like my video if you do. Have a great day. Bye.